Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying to run the world in between. Um, I'm gonna start a new game, but I have I have been playing quite a bit of this, as you can see. I, I flipped it on just to just to try it out um, one day when I, I I didn't have it in me to record, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't really stop. It was a, it was a really good one. Um, but I have I have a couple reservations. I'm gonna talk about them eventually. This is this is gonna be a tricky one to be honest. But uh, first of all, you may you may recognize this kind of gameplay. This is uh, something we're we're all maybe a little bit familiar with, um, and I think that uh, it uses it, puts it to good use, you know. But well, it does a couple of different things that maybe you haven't seen before, and it's interesting. I might I might talk a little bit about what how I feel about it. As well as um, what it what it, what it feels to me like it's trying to do. All right. So, um, okay, we are on default mode. So we have, uh, you know, it's gonna feel it's gonna feel familiar. It's not gonna feel necessarily groundbreaking, but uh, I'll tell you, it, it does do something that you don't necessarily expect right away and it, it you don't even maybe understand it right away but uh after you've played for a little bit and after you've died a few times you will start to understand that this game is doing something a little bit different than your other platformers um nice yeah there's definitely some meat boy in here there's some celeste um i think honestly the music alone feels a little bit celeste inspired and good because I, I love that soundtrack so, um, what is this game doing exactly? What what are we what are we doing? Well, I mean, we have kind of a linear progression, but it's different. Um, so we don't have a, a normal or traditional level structure, right? You might think, uh, especially when you're playing this game for the first little bit, that okay, well, you know, this is like world, you know, level one three, one four, you know, we're we're continuing here and. But uh, you know, things are gonna start to feel a little bit familiar. Not just in the in that it's like, oh yeah, I've I've played this kind of game before. No, I mean like literally, some of these obstacles are gonna start to feel like you've maybe done them before, uh, like just now. It's basically pulling different different chunks of level from a pool uh, of of different level chunks and then blending them together to form some form a level and as you play and as you progress and uh you know fill this this pool we're gonna we're gonna get a bit of story here hold on a second ah i was sure that i heard something how are you are you getting by my name is sorgal but you can call me the old one and you are well you don't speak my language i can see from the look in your eyes that you do i understand that you're suspicious down here everything seems hostile especially since we encounter less and less people here you're also uh, coming from the cave where the blood flows, right? Okay, so you're aware that you've signed some some sort of pact against your will. You'll see. You end up getting used to it. Either way, I hope that you've got some patience given the structure of this labyrinth. I still struggle seeing what's over the mountain, but going over forward is difficult with this stupid dog. That tiny ball of fur saved my saved me while I was about to give in. Since then, we're inseparable. Well, I feel we only have little time left before being repatriated. Still, I hope we'll meet again. One last piece of advice to cross the cascades. Go as fast as you can, but not to get burned, I see. The, it's, the game is called Run, and you are being chased by this thing, but it's not actually chasing you. I know that doesn't make sense necessarily right away, but what it's actually doing is it's mimicking your movement. Um, I know that sounds similar, but they're not one and the same. There's, there's very close, but uh, one is different from the other. And it matters because when it comes to platforming, you can uh, you can basically try and you can manipulate this thing that chases you by uh, kind of you know moving in specific ways. Like for instance, if you move very slowly, it's going to move very slowly. It's not actually chasing you at a consistent speed. It's con chasing you at the speed that you are running in. So. Um, with that in mind, you can kind of uh, use those mechanics, and that works to your favor. 
when it doesn't work in your favor is when you're in circumstances where you'd actually like it to move faster or slower or maybe not one-to-one -one because uh, it, it's it's kind of in your way. I mean, I know that's an obstacle, but we'll get into why it can be a little bit frustrating. Back to, to back to what this game is actually doing. We're, so it's pulling from a pool of different obstacles. Um, as we progress and we fill these pools, we are gonna start to see new obstacles. There are many pools of different obstacles and some of those obstacles are harder than others. They they kind of kind of come in a range of uh, you know easy to medium to difficult to spicy to really spicy, and then things kind of get ridiculous. And uh, here's the thing, right? Like if I, so far I haven't died yet, and I guarantee you in this let's try I will eventually die. If I die, uh, you don't get to try again necessarily. You don't get to try that specific. Uh, blend or, or uh, of, of obstacles you just got to try a new blend of the same obstacles and that can um, it can it makes for an interesting experience because you don't get the benefit of like being able to uh, kind of get better at that obstacle you don't get the benefit of like trying again and again and again and basically uh, you know training your your skill up against that specific obstacle okay we've got our first stone here and I am gonna get it um, that'll get it we'll get into that in a second um, you know sometimes you do end up in a situation where you kind of I, I, you know quotation marks get lucky and you get the same obstacle over and over and over again on the first as your first obstacle so you can kind of like practice against it but um, that's not necessarily the norm and uh so you you just have to try every single time to like you know get it the first time in a way um this can this makes for interesting gameplay because it means that like you the stakes are kind of high like if you are making it uh you, you're doing well through one you know quotation marks level uh and you come across an obstacle you know you're not very good at um, then you, it's going to give you, like, you, you're really going to want to try your best to, to, oh, there's our first death, to, to make it on, like, your first try, or make it when, if you're just, like, doing well and you don't want to have to, like, undo the progress that you've made. This, uh, this, that, by the way, those, like, stones kind of falling like that kind of indicates that, that you're, like, halfway through the level. And obviously, these levels are bite-sized. And the stakes are not super high right now because things are fairly easy. But when you get far enough along, a memory resurfaces. Um, and you start to encounter obstacles that you really struggle against. Um, then it's going to feel a little bit more dicey because you're, you're a little bit more aware of the fact that, yeah, there's, there's that one obstacle that I just cannot have not been able to get through and if they throw that at me right now then uh, it's all it's all game over and I'm, I'm gonna lose the the little progress that I've made but um, so let's talk about those stones the stones are really effective at uh, getting you to step a little bit outside your comfort zone take risks because they unlock memories and to be honest I'm not super sure what the memories do yeah like um, the stones really do uh, serve as an effective way to make you take risks I just don't know necessarily what am I risking for, you know? I, I did it, like, I, I even in the, the kind of, like, I'm, I'm in, say, the, the late game-ish, and yeah, I, I still risk it all for those stones. I just still don't really understand why. Um, I have to wonder if maybe I'm going for some kind of good end, but I don't know, I like, in the story in this game is, is pretty abstract for the most part. A memory re resurfaces. So far, all I've really experienced is that we have our, our friend there kind of um, giving us a little bit of advice. I won't spoil too much, but uh, you know, things do develop. Uh, he just kind of gave us our first clue as to how story develops in this game is, you know, the sit ball balls are our other struggling souls. I don't know if necessarily the story is super important, but definitely the theming and the, the visuals give you an interesting glimpse of something that you, you don't quite understand. Like you're filling up these vials, you're running away from this dark shadow, you kind of start a little bit crispy when you first spawn. So um, you know, maybe there's, they're, they're 
making some kind of point about you how do you feel how does your character feel you know i'm i'm not gonna necessarily try and like super analyze the theming in this game but i, I will say that it does interest me i am i am interested in like what kind of message we are saying in this game but after a while and after like you know an hour and a half of playing this game and struggling a little bit with some of the obstacles i will say that the theming kind of becomes lost in the noise of me just trying as hard as i can to get through uh through the game and i'll say that as a positive in a way because like you know the story doesn't get in the way of the of, of the actual game and also the game is very engaging and i i, I do really enjoy it uh, enough to to like you know like I, I really couldn't stop playing it it was honestly a problem <laughs> i really I, like i honestly i really wanted to beat it in one go but it gets it does get to the point where uh it becomes so difficult that uh, i find myself kind of smashing my head against certain obstacles and you get like since the levels are uh remixed i'm, I'm gonna stop going for that stone um you you just kind of have to like play things by ear you have to um wing it you really do have to wing it because even obstacles that you know you can complete they're still difficult as you're completing them so you can still fail against ones that you've you've uh kind of semi mastered so you get into this um maybe rut or pattern of things where um you you failed a lot against an obstacle and you're you're starting to feel a little bit frustrated and starting to get a little bit impatient so you start to fail against obstacles that you know you can complete and that starts to you know, get you even more heated and then you get just start like dying constantly at least that's my experience i won't say i got so frustrated with this game that i was like you know like i wasn't like white heat just like you know i've gotten that way with some certain games you get so frustrated with a game that you don't even want to look at it anymore i never reached that point with this game um, there is a couple of mechanics that I think uh, might need a little bit of retooling. I will talk about those. I will say as a uh, positive remark on the accessibility of this game is you can actually turn this guy off. If you go, you can enable no stress mode. I don't know if this has an effect on like the story or something like that. I kind of hope it doesn't, but basically enabling stress mode turns off the chasing soot ball, um, which I really appreciate that, that that is an option. And I did actually turn it off and was able to try and like actually pr practice against some of the uh, obstacles that I was struggling against. It does feel really good though when you finally figure out one of the obstacles like, oh yeah, there's a, there's an easy way actually. I can, uh, I can do it this way. At this game's best, it really is kind of a pretty zen experience like you I, like I love the music in this game and I love just kind of like trying to beat certain obstacles trying to get the stones um even though it is a re it is a really difficult game uh I still really enjoy it as kind of a almost semi-casual experience because uh I don't really have to think about the obstacles as much because I am going up against them so many times, like it, the repetition actually works in its favor in some ways. The little floating gems that I know, those are fragments of lost memories. You can gather them up along the way. Then do you see where the ground is collapsing? Memories will flash back into the landscape. It's not really anything useful, but it's one of the things that I like around here. Oh, I have, I have, yeah, you know what? Let's keep um, stress mode on for now. So this is the first thing I wanna talk about is these <clears throat> bouncing pads. I don't know if maybe I never, figure out exactly how to make them work for me, but I basically never figure out how to get a consistent bounce from them. And at a certain point also, I just decide not to go for the gems because some of them are just like ridiculous. Like I don't, I, like this one I can do even when I'm being chased, but some of them are like so hard that I can't imagine trying to go for them. Because I know it's hard, um, my brain says, you're not gonna make it. And then, you know, then, then I don't make it, right? Yeah, like the gems are really effective at making you want to take chances, but you still shouldn't. You know, since they are in a different order, sometimes you just have to approach things with a sense of um, improvisation. Almost went for the gem there. That was almost me losing my mind. It's, it's somehow like they found a middle ground between like repetition and um, something new every time. It's a different way of doing a platformer because like you're, you, you're so used to like 
oh, here's the next level and here's the new gimmick and here's the new set of obstacles. And then you smash your face against that level uh, enough times until you know you can beat it, right? But then in this game, you're in a circumstance where, yeah, you're gonna see that obstacle again, but the circumstances are going to be different. They're gonna be just different enough. You're gonna have just enough pressure that it's, you're not just gonna be able to like, have the benefit of like, oh, well, I can always try this again. You can, but then you'll be in a different circumstance again. That one's really satisfying when you can get it. So I'll tell you what, um, we're in the last half of the last orb here. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn stress mode back on. Oh, I should have dashed there. Don't uh, don't be stingy with the dash. The dash um, definitely helps you. Oh, that was nice. That was a good set there. Uh, oh, oh, that was. I don't know. This isn't a complaint. It's really just a desire. Is I wish that this <laughs> track was longer, even though it is super long and it's got a lot of variation in it and it is like seriously an like amazing soundtrack for a game i wish it was longer just because like if it was if they had like achieved such a long track that it was that you could actually like play the whole game and not hear any repetition in it that would have been amazing um that's not a that's i swear that's not a criticism it's just because i love the track so much i want more of it I, I did it. I can't, oh, no, not this one. Uh, uh, oh, I knew I wasn't going to make it because I, I didn't dash to the bottom of it. I got no stones. That was the last one. Pride. All right. So we're, we're going to see see something here. Oh, so we can classic run, speed run, infinite. All right, we'll try exactly two minutes of infinite mode. Yeah, I mean this is this is pretty compelling, especially if they added new hazards. That would that would get me playing endless mode a little bit, but I honestly can't tell. It's been a while since I've seen some of these. And beating four is uh, really challenging, <laughs> especially when you don't see like the same hazard twice, basically, because it's pulling from the entire pool and not just like a small pool of catered like levels meant for a cer certain difficulty. Yo, what is that hazard? That was, th yeah, I definitely haven't seen some of these. Definitely. We're at 10. Oh, heck yeah, bud. 14? Sure. Let's 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 see 20 maybe. Okay. Come on, 20. Ooh. Yo. Thirty? Thirty would be good. I'd take thirty. Oh, 22. Alright, I'll take 22. I don't know if this is meant to be a very groundbreaking platformer like it's it's you know it's just a good it's a nice little package of of levels it's also ten dollars so i think that's like a hundred percent reasonable run the world in between i enjoyed it a lot i hope you enjoyed this video if you did definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy Thank <laughs> you.